back in Dollar Tree and the Christmas signs are here. But before we get to the Christmas signs, I wanna show you this red, this camper with the tinsel. Now I'm kind of over tinsel, but this is kind of too cute to uh, leave behind. They also have this red truck, but I believe the red truck was here last year and there's a new red tinsel truck out that I will wait to find um, this is not it but I'm seeing a couple of wish list signs now they do have signs that were here last year but also they have some new signs and one of them is this one with the gnomes gnome for the holidays and this definitely was a wish list this one is also new I believe this house believes in Santa and this is definitely a wish list find. Look at these large signs. And I wanted this believe. Um, as a nurse, we avoid snow because we have to work in rain, sleet, or snow. So I hate anything that says let it snow. Um, but that is really, really cute. But this is definitely a must have. And something else I'm seeing is they have the snow spray. Dollar Tree has never had snow spray. This is pretty cool. Also have these new bottle trees. These are pretty cool. They have the one that looks like it's been frosted with snow. They have the silver, they have the gold and the green. They're very well made. They also have the signs from last year. These were out last year. Really nice signs. Ooh, this is new this big one that says ho 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 that's also new I'm not sure I believe these were out last year these signs with the sleigh I believe these were out last year wishlist sign and I got the last one was this snowman I know I said I don't like to see snow or think of snow but this was on my wish list I have the scarecrow long hanging one hanging in my living room now and I just like the design they also have the Santa Claus I think for a dollar you're getting these massive beautiful signs this was out last year that one from last year I'm not sure about this one with the snow globe I believe these are new as well Dollar Tree definitely did up their holiday game. These snowflakes are from last year. I did haul them. And the snowman, I want to say the snowman, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Tinsel characters are nice. They have the snowman, they have a stocking that says Merry Christmas, and they have the penguin. Location finally got the cobblestone um, village items. I'm not going to get it because I already have the village that came out two years ago um, and I didn't put it out last year. I tried to minimize my decorations because it is a lot to store and put away. But they have the tea lights here for you for the houses all ready to go. Um, these crazy straws are pretty cool. I love straws and these seem like they're reusable. Yeah, I like them. So are starting to put out their Christmas cards at this location. And 12 cards. But there's one design in each card. Some of them are, um, if you can, there's different ones in each box. You have to look. This location has plenty of the pumpkin candles from SureSense. I reviewed these. I let you guys know these are the bomb.com. Again, different stores has them in different areas, okay? Some stores have them by um, the air fresheners. I'm not seeing any of the new Christmas candles um, here. But I'm just scanning through to show you guys what they have. These unscented candles, um, I showed you these in the red and green and I seen the silver yesterday. I did not know that they have gold. Again, these are unscented, but if you just want the decor of gold candles, then these would be great. I have these new picture frames. They come in four different colors. This is the gold. They hold two four by six photos. 
Here is the white. Here is the silver. Here is the black. They also have these copper frames. Pretty cool. These simple white frames. They have these. I love these because they are bigger than what they really appear. It holds a five by seven. This has a dark wood border. Here's a silver one. They also have this black one with the raised design. It also comes in four by six. This one with the faux wood border and the gold trim is really, really nice. And they have a similar one right here. But I don't like, I wish the gold was more um, prominent on this one. They also have these 8x10 ones. Really nice. They have these candle holders here. I showed you them in Massapequa. I wish they had different colors. Um, you either can put a tea light this way or a candlestick this way. And oh, they have, it's not quite red. That's like almost a um, coral pink. And then they have this like turquoise blue. The Coca-Cola Lip Smacker. And I believe this was from Walmart and the price was $3.97. Okay, so that's something to look for. Finally seeing the infused cotton swabs. This is lavender infused, aloe infused, rose oil infused and coconut infused and they come in a 50 count um, plastic container that has a lid new cosmetic bags I love a clear cosmetic bag so these are fun they also have these but these feel very cheapish I'm not even gonna lie to you it I know it's a dollar but I don't know, it doesn't look like the zipper will hold up, but I do enjoy a clear cosmetic bag so you can see what's inside. I have these new bath bombs um, from Onyx Bath House, and this is birthday party. This is new from Miss Spa. It's age defy, firm and tone. You get one sheet. It's a sheet mask. The Garnier Fructus. Um, dry shampoo i believe i might have hauled this never used it yet this is good if you wear wigs and um your wig comes out the pack very shiny you just spray it with a little dry shampoo and that's why i, I hold mine but i haven't been wearing wigs but i just want to share i'm on the hunt for the garnier fructose hair gel that i've been seeing others haul from Dollar Tree um, that's definitely on my wish list but I just wanted to share seen these in a while these were randomly placed this is a facial scrub from Bolero coconut and rose milk and here is a facial serum um, again I'm not seeing the new Bolero product line oh wait a minute now I don't know if this is old I told you guys I'm looking for the hand creams that are coming out but I don't think this is new maybe it could be and I'm just not seeing the display but, um, yeah, focus camera, so annoying. But yeah, maybe they are here somewhere. I don't always see these at this location. This is the brown and surf rolls, and those are the Hawaiian dinner rolls. I have never tried them, but I have watched other Dollar Tree hauls where they have. I also have never tried these croissants. Um, these pans fit perfectly. If you have an air fryer, a six by six air fryer like me, these pans fit perfectly in the air fryer. And I needed some more. I forget for what, but I wanted to make, but they fit perfectly and it's just much better to have to clean the air fryer. And this location has out the snow globe signs. They have out the snow globes and these are from last year. Hi guys, I have an exciting lunch break haul for you. Usually my lunch break hauls are trash. I can't say trash, but this is exciting and I'm so happy. I'm going to try not to make too much noise because the bag, they're giving paper bags now and I look crazy. Listen guys, I have to be up at 5 a.m. 
I was up until 2 watching the new edition movie. <laughs> Don't ask me why, because I made some of that coffee. That coffee keeps me up, um, but it's so good. Um, so I had to run out of the house this morning. But anyway, and then the day I have, it's no telling how I feel or how I look after I complete these 12 hours. It's no joke. But I found a wish list sign. The Christmas signs are at Dollar Tree. I wanted this sign. It says gnome for the holidays. The nose is 3D and so is the little puff of the hat. I really had to sort through them because a lot of the noses were scuffed up. So um, I found one that was perfect or close to perfect. And this was a wish list find. I think the signs that I got are so freaking cute. Dollar Tree is doing their thing. Another sign I wanted was this big long snowman guys this is over two feet tall this is the cutest and i am against i told you as a nurse who has to work rain sleet or snow i've had to drive in some of the worst long island blizzards to get to work scared out of my life crying praying god please get me there seriously um, I've had to stay over so we don't like to hear the word snow because we work in a field where we are Counted on to be there. Okay, but this was just too cute and I have the um, Scarecrow one and um, It's hanging on my fireplace and I think that's where I'm gonna put this one I'm not sure but this is a whole lot of sign for a dollar a whole lot of sign for a dollar another one. Oh my god this is just too cute. I'm loving these massive signs. I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> Sorry. All the way back. But this is massive, guys. This is massive. It's not going to fit in my camera. This is so freaking cute. I mean, if I turn it sideways. I mean, this is just so freaking cute. Another one. Believe. Look how massive this sign is, okay? Over two feet wide. Really, really cute. And it has the reindeer is 3D. And is the B? No, only the reindeer. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't get this all into my camera. Okay, this is really crazy, but loving them. I don't know how I missed this one, but I must have missed it. Um, I'm seeing the canvas prints, and I'm seeing a lot of the ones that I have found already, but this is not one of them. This is my recording area colors. I can't wait to go home and hang this. Beautiful pink flowers with the gold and the green. The walls are green in my recording area. This is going to look so pretty on the wall. I'm loving this. So i never seen this before, so it could be... I got there after someone else had already got it. So I said, let me go through the box again, even though I recognized a lot of the prints that I had already. And boom, I found a hidden treasure. These bottle trees, possibly I should have got more. I might go back tomorrow. Um, look at these beautiful bottle trees and they do have glitter. Oh God, the glitter is falling. But look at this gold one. Oh my God, and this green one. I have to go back. Okay, and the whole everything came from Farmingdale. Okay, next to Adventureland. I'm sorry, I'm all in your face. This is just a snack item. I love the veggie chips. Listen, do I believe that these are real vegetables? They say <laughs> um, it's dehydrated green pepper, dehydrated tomato, dehydrated garlic. It's mostly potato, so it's just like chips. Okay, let's just keep it real. But um, I do like these, and I got another bag. I couldn't find the ones I found yesterday. I look so crazy. But just charge it to the horrible work day I had. It's just crazy. Look at this. Snow spray. Are you kidding me? Snow spray. I have been a Dollar Tree hopper for years. I have never seen snow spray. Let me know in the comments if you have. And I only got one can. I don't even know what I'm going to spray. But just in case I want to spray some snow somewhere, I'm prepared. Okay? All right? Um, for my little coffee setup downstairs, 
I, I got this for my coffee station. Um, I have the larger ones for the upstairs kitchen. I have a sugar container downstairs in the love den, but it's not that airtight. So this one is more airtight. So I got this to put sugar in. I don't put sugar in my coffee because the crema is sweet enough. Those cremas have a lot of sugar, but my husband drinks his coffee black and sometimes he wants, you know, a teaspoon of sugar. So that's what this is for. Y'all gonna get tired of me talking about Copper Moon. This is the dark roast, and I had a cup last night. I felt myself getting sleepy, and I did not want to go to bed. You ever, like a little kid, you fight and sleep? And I made a cup of coffee maybe around 8-ish, maybe a little earlier, and I, my, my behind was up till 2 o'clock in the morning. So I won't be doing that. <laughs> I won't be doing that because it's, it's rough having to get up at 5. But, um... And I didn't. I pressed the snooze a little bit longer than I should have, okay? So, but I did get this because this is a good find. If you're a heavy-duty coffee drinker, maybe you might feel, even though this is dark roast, you might not feel that this is enough. But for me, a lightweight coffee drinker, this is nice and it's smooth and not bitter. I hate that aftertaste and I, I don't get it with this coffee. So, um, I, I'm getting to have quite a stash of the Copper Moon coffee. I did find the lip smackers. Um, these came from uh, Walmart, $3.97. As you've seen on the in-store, the price was still there. Um, I think it's two of the same, but I got two of them. These would be great stocking stuffers for someone. I did find the um, infused Q-tips, and they had the rose oil. They had the coconut. Um, I got the aloe, and it was one more. You've seen it on the lavender. I don't know what these are, but I just got them, okay? I love um, the container, okay? And it says, perfect for personal care, makeup removal and ap application, nail polish, touch-ups, and more. I don't know what the infusion does for you. I really don't. Um, if, I, if I do, I'll let you know. If you tried them, let me know. I heard someone say that they're not scented, okay? They're not scented, but... Um, I, I really don't know, so I don't want to get to lying. I did get these sticky notes, and I got these for work because nobody seems to have any sticky notes in the desk, in the uh, wellness office, so, um, I did get these for work, so I'm going to throw these in my pocketbook, so I'll have them tomorrow. I did get the Badia Complete Seasoning. I have some for the upstairs kitchen. Um, I need some for the Love Den, so I'm really building up my spice rack and my supplies for downstairs where I can cook a full meal and not have to move things from kitchen upstairs to downstairs so that's the purpose and I just this is a repurchase these pans fit perfectly in my air fryer I have a square six quart all-in-one downstairs it bakes it air fries it reheats and it does something else. I don't know. And these pans fit perfectly. When I did the steak and the salmon, I put it in the pans or whatever like that. Because I find with certain meats that you want to keep moist, when you do it in the air fryer, everything drips down to the bottom and it dries the meat out, I find. Um, but this keeps all the juices there or whatever. So, I don't know. I don't like dry meat. So uh, that works well. And that is my lunch break Dollar Tree haul for today. Everything came again from the Farmingdale location on Route 110. Um, I did not see the projectors for those of you still looking. Um, yeah, so you've seen the in-store. I showed you new items. Uh, you know, I don't want to get repetitive. I thought they had the new Bolero products out, but they don't. Um, not seeing, didn't, besides the infused Q-tips and those makeup bags, I didn't see anything new in the cosmetic section either. So, um, I will keep you posted. I don't know. I want to get to the Target dollar spot. The Target dollar spots in New York that I have been to are not looking anything like the Target dollar spots that I see on other YouTube videos. But there is a Target on 110 right behind Dollar Tree. So I might swing in there tomorrow and then swing back in Dollar Tree because I think I want more of those bottle trees. I should get two more. Um, yeah, so I have four. Um, then what am I going to do with this stuff? That's another reason why I only got the two. It's just like, what am I going to do with this stuff? I did get a request to show you guys how I store my Dollar Tree items. You guys are going to be cracking up, but um, it is what it is. It won't be with this video, but I will film it. Um, 
my next Dollar Tree haul or before my next Dollar Tree haul I'll film it and then attach it to uh, one of my next hauls but I am going home I am free and um, I'll be talking to you guys soon welcome to the new subscribers thank you for joining the Erica Fuller cyber family thank you for my existing cyber families for your support for watching my videos I appreciate you um, yeah that's it guys let me know in the comments How's your Dollar Tree hopping going? Okay, talk to you soon. Bye bye.